Once upon a time, there was a mother pig, and she had three little sons. And the day came when all the little pigs decided to go out into the world to seek their fortunes. They left home and all went their different ways. The first little pig trotted along the road and met a man carrying a bundle of straw. The pig said to the man, "Could you give me some of your straw so that I can build myself a house?" And the man gave him some straw, so the little pig went into the woods and built a beautiful house with it. The second pig went along his road and met a man carrying a bunch of sticks. So the little pig asked, "Could you give me some of your sticks so that I can build myself a house?" And the man gave him some sticks, so the little pig went into the woods and built a house. The third little pig went along the road too, and he met a man carrying a load of bricks. The pig went up to the man and said, "Could you give me some of your bricks so that I can build myself a house?" And the man gave him some bricks, so the little pig went into the woods and built a nice house. Now, in that same forest, there lived a wolf, and he soon smelt the pigs. So he started hunting around and came to the house made of straw. The wolf knocked at the door and said, "Little pig, little pig, let me come in, or I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in." But the little pig saw the wolf through the keyhole and answered, "No, no, no." By the hair of my chinny chin chin. So the wolf puffed, and he puffed, and he blew the house in. So the poor little pig ran away into the woods. As he had not caught the pig, the wolf went on hunting until he came to a small house made of sticks. He smelt the pig there, and again knocked at the door and said. Little pig, little pig, let me come in, or I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. But the little pig in the house made of sticks saw the wolf and answered, "No, no, no! By the hair of my chinny chin chin!" So the wolf puffed and he puffed and he blew the house in. So the other little pig ran away into the woods. By this time, the wolf was really hungry, so he ran deep into the woods and soon saw yet another little house made of bricks. This time, he was determined to have a pig at all costs. So he knocked at the door and said, "Little pig, little pig, let me come in." Or I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. But the little pig inside the brick house saw the wolf through the window and answered, "No, no, no! By the hair of my chinny chin chin!" So the wolf huffed and he puffed and he huffed and he puffed, but he could not blow the house down. He grew very angry and swore he would come down the chimney and eat up the little pig for his supper. But while he was climbing down the chimney, the little pig made up a blazing fire, so the wolf started burning. Being very scared of the fire, the burning wolf jumped out of the chimney and ran away, and he never came back. Soon after, the other two little pigs, who were homeless, found their way to their brother, and they all lived happily in the house made of bricks.